All right, guys, welcome to Thursday Night Zoom. Super happy to have everybody on. I am super fired up despite being, uh, I see you laughing, Nixa. Hello. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, we're all super fired up. I don't know about um, speaking for everyone else, but I am fired up despite even being post-event sick, post-event hangover. Um, but I am just fired up anyway. I just am super passionate about this ketone conversation. This event blew my mind. Um, full transparency, I went into it thinking, hey, uh, I got this. I've already been to like eight Keto Academy and more. Um, but I actually really reframed that like within five minutes of Keto Academy because <laughs> It was just blowing my mind, and I was like, oh, great, here's Dr. Andy. I already heard her talk. And it was just mind-blowing from just the very first day to the very last day. It was different. There were certain things that I took away that I know I need to start implementing right away. Um, I want to get into all of that fun talk at the end of this talk. I really want to give you guys some – action steps right away to and really run through the ACE attract connect experience takeaways that I took away from this entire keto academy and more I think I don't really know how many times we have to like beat ourselves in the head with this information but the fundamental fact is like our business is so simple it is insane like we just have to be intentional about our work. We have to be intentional about our action steps. We have to be intentional from our hearts and lead that way. Um, but it all fu fundamentally comes down to this one, this one little acronym. I'm going to try and teach it because Kendra did it at the VIP and I thought it was really cool. Um, but I don't know if you guys can see it or not. But I definitely want to get an easel now, like Jason Pape, and like really teach like this kind of stuff. So, okay. I'm just gonna dive right into it because I'm a ramble man mamble. I don't know if that's a word, but it's gonna be. Um, but I wanna teach what what I took away from it, and then anybody that was there who wants to kind of like throw in on uh, like their takeaways and distinctions from the event that apply to our business. Um, I'm going to like have you guys do that. Okay. Wait, before we do that though, I do want to get into like a really excited, like peak, not peak state, but like, let's get into like some gratitude and celebrations. Um, everybody type in the chat, like your wins for the week. Um, I really want to see those. I think that like, that was a huge takeaway that we don't give ourselves enough credit. We don't high five ourselves enough. We don't pat each other ourselves on the back. If we don't do those types of things, like we always will focus on what we don't have or what we should be doing. So this is something I want to implement like going forward. So everybody just type in the chat, like what your wins were for the week. I survived Keto Academy and more. And I am alive right now to do the Zoom. Um, my personal one is like freaking consistency and like being present. Um, I did Facebook Lives. Uh, <laughs> Chastity said, that is the best way I can. Okay, I mean, I guess that is a win. That is a freaking win. Chastity said she was extremely constipated on vacation, and she finally pooped. And I'm going to provide you a solution. Anytime that that happens to you, just drink some concentrates or 40,000 volts. I personally think that it's a great addition to the Mitoplex. I drink both, and I poop amazingly. Susie said she sold a lot of reboots, um, got a lot of responses. She actually, she started, Susie, you want to unmute yourself and like say what you did quick? If you don't mind, I didn't ask you permission. I'm sorry. I just followed what you said. <laughs> okay. And what was that? <laughs> it was, um, I, I, I sent individual messages. I made it all the way through all my Facebook friends, I made it all the way to Jay, I believe, That's and sent individual messages. So I have a lot of curiosity 
And then I started getting personal messages from people asking more about it. So I don't even know how many people I added to our group, but I was able, at least a dozen people were added to the group that did not buy the reboots yet. That's freaking awesome. So it was just the, hey, do you want to reboot with me, with me this month? Question mark. Yeah. And I posted a picture of us holding my grandbaby and my legs look so skinny that people wanted, <laughs> people wanted the ketones because I haven't had skinny legs in a long time. Well, you're beautiful and awesome. And that is super cool. Okay. I'm going to touch a little bit more on that, but thank you for sharing and congratulations and way to be consistent and execute. Um, all right. So awesome. Uh, feeling grateful about doing this job. Heck no, you don't need to feel guilty. That's awesome. Yeah, you guys, awesome, awesome, awesome. Does everyone feel good about like their wins and like their efforts this week? I know that we're coming off an event and most people on here were at the event, but for people that weren't on, at the event, like take our energy and like you're going to hear a little bit later on like, you know, our takeaways and things like that. But this is why I want to Zoom. I really want, I, I want to do Thursday night Zooms like for sure and I want everyone to come on and really get some value and like really just do these um because I think it's important to plug in I think that we get consistently inconsistent but like that was the theme of the entire that was the theme of the entire weekend it was all about being consistent I just took off my consistent shirt because I've been wearing it for four days and unshowered but um yeah just being yourself and showing up is super 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 important okay so I'm gonna go into ace really quickly I don't know if you guys can see it um but here's the a I probably did it too big hold on you guys can't see crap hold up. all right well <sighs> That's actually a Sharpie, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. All right, well, forget it. So ace, right? So attract, okay? So the biggest takeaway, and I think the distinction that we can see better than you think. Can you see it? Really? Oh, all right, man. cool. Um, okay, so attract is the first one. But how do you attract people, right? So attract people through social media and then in person. But how do you do this without being a weirdo, right? Okay. My biggest takeaway from the weekend was that the more conversations that you're having inside your messenger or in your mouth with as many people as possible is the mo the person who's winning the most. But I'm not talking about just ketone conversations because you have to somehow attract people to this conversation. But how do you attract people? By, have, by peaking curiosity. So my biggest distinction was that not only can you peak curiosity with like loosely promoting on social media, you can have conversations with people about anything. And the whole goal is to really not get them ask the, really the whole goal is for them to ask you how you are, because that really gives you an in on how to, sell your stuff or not sell but like share the conversation so how do you attract people through social media by creating posts doing facebook lives um how do you deal with weirdos that just want to date um i just tell them no i just delete them like if you don't know them i would just block them because here's the other thing too every person on your social media is a money seat and if you have five thousand friends that you better have 5,000 people that you talk to on about ketones and ketosis, right? <laughs> What's your favorite sauce? Yes, I will. That guy still didn't match with me, by the way. Um, so you attract them on social media, but how do you have attraction to your profile? By going Facebook Live, by posting engaging posts. But what does that even mean? So you don't need to necessarily post like, hi, who wants to try PTKs or all of the engaging pure, like P 
PTK type of curiosity posts, you can post regular stuff and ask for opinions or ask questions. And as soon as people respond, get back into their DM and thank them for talking, giving you the recommendation or whatever. For example, I would post something about Clyde, right? I like, this is something that you can do. Oh my God, my dog lady just told me that Clyde jumped a six foot fence, LOL. Now, so that's like my haha -ha funny like attraction part of it. And then the next part is, does your dog misbehave when it goes to the dog sitter? Question mark. It has nothing to do with ketones. It has nothing to do with um, like sell my stuff, but it piques curiosity and gets people to my profile and causes engagement on my page. Are you guys following me so far? Okay, cool. So now, as all the people that are going to respond, because people love to talk about themselves, people love to share stories, people love to do all of that stuff, and people are going to like it. So now you have a whole bunch, of, I have a whole bunch of likes, and I have a whole bunch of conversations that already started down in the thread. I can just respond back and say, LOL, or whatever, respond back to every single one of them, because then it bumps the posts, it keeps it at the top of the newsfeed. But what also what I would do is slide into their DM and start talking to them about that post. So if somebody says, ha ha, me too, I'm going to slide in their DM and be like, hey, thanks for commenting on my post. I felt like I was the only person who had a misbehaving dog. How are you doing? And then they're going to respond back, whatever they're going to respond. And then they're going to, and then I'm going to be able to say, and then they're going to ask me, how are you doing? And I'm going to say, you know what? I'm freaking great because I'm drinking ketones. What do you know about ketones and ketosis? Does that feel good to you guys or like easy or like loose or like gives you guys something to do more or less or like puts you into action? Because I think we get so caught up in the ketone conversation, which is obviously if you're not talking about ketones, you're not making money or you're not helping people, but it doesn't have to always start with the ketone conversation. It could start with your regular life. Now, am I saying that they're going to buy ketones right away? No, but I am saying that you are starting conversations with people that already engaged in your profile that may or may not have seen things. So it doesn't have to be weird. And if you're not comfortable pitching after the how are you write their name down and go back to them and like send them a gift in a couple days and like maintain that relationship because we're in community-based marketing but how do you have a community if you're not having conversations um <laughs> Susie says it felt weird at first and then I got over it because they're supporting the ketone addiction yeah um I love that does anyone have questions how does everyone feel about this? Does it make you feel like a little bit less pressure? So another way that you can attract people or have this conversation is by going into Facebook stories. Does everyone know how to do that? Yeah or nay? Yeah or nay? I've taught it before. Okay. If you don't know how to do that, get with your champ six on your team and they'll teach you. Um, and if they're, and anybody that was the event, we sat and, the, and I showed them how to do it. So those are ways to attract on like social media and have conversations in person. You can be just going like this, shaking your ketone mind. It's, it's an old cup, so it's not going to work, but like shaking your ketone cover ketone cup really loudly leaving your trash at Starbucks for, if you're staying in Starbucks, don't be an asshole. But like, if you're staying in Starbucks, like leave your stuff on the table, like kind of obnoxiously and like hope that like a worker comes by. Cause like one out of five people will ask what it is cause they have never seen it before. So, oh, what do you know about ketone? It's just ketones. Wearing a ketone conversation shirt, getting your car wrapped, 
like all of those types of things are great. But I don't want you guys to just be like, oh, could you watch this campfire video and stand right there? And I think me and Lindy were having a conversation about business cards too. She was passing out her business cards, but not really finding that like people were texting her. Be proactive. You've already attracted them to you. They've already piqued their interest because of whatever, whatever you're wearing or you're shaking your ketone bottle or somebody asks you what you do. Instead of giving you, giving them the business card, take control of the situation and say, Hey, can I just text you something really quickly? Like, and if you never want to hear from me again, it's fine. Um, can I just text you a quick video on key on what it is I do? And you can let me know if you like it or not. And then after you're done saying that dig a little bit deeper on what their health challenges are, have like a normal human conversation. Um, I heard from somebody that didn't not ever know I was following me, ask me what my program was and how it's success. Yeah. You never know who people are like, you never know who's watching you. Like I had an ex-boyfriend text me yesterday and was like, can you please stop being at the top of my newsfeed and stop being so cute? I'm like, I know I do that on purpose. Um, but he's drinking ketones now. So it's just like, you just never know we're friends, but you just never know who's watching your stuff and who maybe not be ready at that right moment when you're trying to hit the end of month or sell all of your 10 days because you need some cash or whatever it is. Like you just never know what seeds you've planted until they come up. But it's also our duty and responsibility to get this ketone conversation out. And it's also our duty and responsibility to be having these conversations as a as quickly and as much as possible because if you really want to hit your goals in this company, you're not going to be able to hit you're not going to be able to talk to five people and expect to hit MVP or expect to get new volume or hit or multiplier bonus or whatever it is. Like you need to be having conversations like 20, 30, 40, 50, like depending on what your goal is. Right. But if you want to hit rank six in the next 90 days, you'd better be doing a 90 day run and having extra like so many conversations but if you want to just loosely do this then only have a couple conversations a week um what's the best line to say okay i want everyone to understand like quote unquote like what the best line is there's no best line like you need to get aligned with your heart and your message and like what you feel comfortable saying like some people say i'm a biohacker somebody some people say i'm a keto powder slinger some people say i'm a keto like i say that i'm a keto health coach um but it doesn't matter you're not going to say the wrong thing to the right person like whatever feels good to you and whatever rolls off your tongue that makes you jazz to say get with that phrase does that make sense mara I can't see you, but um, hopefully it does. So, oh, there is everybody. Perfect. Um, so, yeah, whatever gets aligned to you. So is everyone cool with, like, the attract and, like, how we don't post links on our profile, how we don't, you know, like, stop posting flyers. Like, none of that stuff works. But you can still be you, and you can still post things. So I never want anyone to say like, I ran out of people to talk to because like if you're posting every day and if you're doing Facebook lives every day, like there's not, not one person that's engaging in your stuff. And even if they are a customer, you can still reach out to them and continue that relationship. And if they are a customer, get that customer on ketones, like for free, like have their ketones for free. So they'll introduce you to two new people. Right. Okay. Anyone have questions? Okay, cool. Well, I didn't bring any paper towels because I came very underprepared for this Zoom. So C is connect. And this is how you make money. And it is so important that you connect. Do you delete people who say no or do you? Okay, it depends on how they say no. If they're a-holes, I will delete them. But if they are not a-holes and they say no, or if it's money because they genuinely like do not have whatever the money to do it, most times that people that don't have the money don't understand the value, which is why you need to have the connect. But 
if they're a-holes, I delete them, if that makes sense. Okay, so connect is important, but I am going to add C, 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 because the connect might take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight time connect before they actually then enroll. Because I think sometimes we think, oh, ace, I'm doing ace. I'm doing ace all of the time. Connect, connect. Uh, I'm connecting and nobody, and then the conversation goes flat. Or I'm connecting and, okay, well, they watch an Inspire On video and they aren't really inspired. Well, it takes connect and follow up. So I just want to, like, just reiterate that. And that, I don't know if they said that on stage or I don't know if they said that in the VIP thing, but that was, like, a huge thing that I think that we forget. So the connect takes a lot. Yes, the fortune is in the follow up. Um, how do I connect if they say they don't have the money? Okay. If they say that they don't have the money, you didn't connect appropriately. So I'm going to go into that because they should be connecting and seeing the value. It is our job to get them to see the value in what we have. Um, but we also can't let the conversations die. So how do we connect? So connecting can be inspire on videos okay does everyone know where to find all of this stuff like i didn't really realize like the insane um amount of like stuff that's on youtube the insane stuff that's on the prove it facebook page has everyone downloaded prove it tv yet like that's freaking awesome Rochelle, you look like you want to murder me right now. <laughs> it's fine. I'm just teasing you. Um, but all of that stuff, that all of those resources, like, are just proveit.com slash, I don't want to say Keto U because I don't think it's Keto U anymore. I think it's, like, Keto 101. But we have the so many resources to connect to that – you should never answer a single question, really. Like, it should be all come from, it should all come from an outside source, whether that's a third party validation in a messenger, whether that's from a Keto U video, whether that's adding them into your Facebook group and tagging them in information. So if you're on Rochelle and I and Julie's and everybody's team, like we have our keto lifestyle with Mandy and friends group that has a crap ton of information in there that me and me and Rochelle got to get busy because there's way more work to, like info that could be put in there. Um, but the whole process is to track them to that, asking them what to know about ketones and ketosis. And the first connect should really be that campfire video. If you attract them to the campfire video and then connect them to that campfire video, and then connect them again to Inspire On, Keto 101, any of the resources in there. Does everyone know how to search for, like, the diabetes question on the Prove It Facebook page? I don't see a lot of hands, but, like, can – I know Rochelle does. I don't know if Nicole does. Lindy, do you know? Okay, I'm just going to show you guys because I think it's really, really, really important to, like, show you. Okay, proveitnow.com. Okay. Shop keto. Um, but the connect is so, 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 so important. Because if I'm trying to sell Wendy something, like, hey girl, how's it going? Can you watch this video? Yeah, cool, I watched it. And then she's like, okay, do you want to try a five or a ten day? She's going to be like, what are you talking about? Like, ask them some questions about their health goals. Ask them what they want out of ketones or like what attracted them to this conversation because then you can then match that goal with a resource so then it's not me being like wendy can you buy my 10 day because i need some cash for keto academy like no i don't get out of here with your mlm stuff but if you're like wendy like oh, like, did you watch that video? Okay, cool. What was really exciting for you about that video? Oh man, I really need energy right now. And I really like my joint pain hurts. Oh my God, you should see this girl, Mandy. Like she has an amazing story about how like she walked like a baby dinosaur because her joints hurt so bad and she had no energy. She could barely keep her eyes open. Here, watch this video really quick. Boom, connect. Well, that's a lot 
better than showing them like buy my five or 10 day, right? So you match the hatch to what that person's outcome is and you set that up conversation up for success because now when they do their five or 10 day, you can follow up and be like, hey, how's your appetite suppression? Hey, how's your joint pain? Hey, how's your um, energy been? Does that make sense? Okay, so let me screen share. So this is your shop keto, whatever. This is just a generic one. But do you see up here this little question mark? And you can do this also on your Pulse app. So, okay, not only how to change your referrer code, because I think I've done that video like one million times, um, but like, okay, diabetes. Oops, sorry, where's my order? There, that is a good one too. <laughs> um, can type one, type two diabetics take keto OS? Can ketones cause ketoacidosis? How do the ketone test strips work? Where can I get them? So like all of this stuff is here. So you can just cut and paste and send it to them like an article. Breastfeeding. I always connect with Jeremy, but breastfeeding, boom. Let's see, cancer. Oh, well, that's cancel. But you know what I mean? Like you can come in here and search that and then uh, YouTube. All right, let, I don't really know how to. Prove it, Keto 101. Let's see if we can find it, boom. But like, so they're dropping new videos all week, but like ketones and exercise, ketones and body composition, keto OS experts, like, there's all these videos here. And then if you MCT optimizing performance, like, and for how many people we have in our community and there's only like 3.4, oh, these aren't actual prove it videos, but like you guys see my point, right? There's always a resource that like you can find um, to match whatever outcome or question or whatever they need. So there's that. And then again, if you are on our team and you want a resource created, I can either do it or I can get it for you. Um, is everyone cool on that? Does everyone understand the importance and why we connect that way? Um, so if you've gotten to the, the money conversation without connecting them to a resource and finding their outcome, of course, they're going to say it's too expensive. Um, and then in terms of like three-way chats, like please connect, but like how many of you guys have ever been thrown into a chat where it's like, hi, this is my friend Mandy. Hi, this is my friend Susie. And then that's it. Like that's awkward, right? You always want to edify the person, the people that are in there. So like I'm going to, and then match your energy to it. Like and if you're in a crappy mood, like you probably shouldn't be working, right? So make sure that your energy is on point and you're super fired up. So what I would do if I was in a three-way connect with me, Wendy, and Annette, um, you're not an idiot. Let's reframe that. What did we learn? You are freaking awesome and you are here to learn and you just had a light bulb moment. Chastity. Okay. So the connect, right? So I'm going to be like, oh my God, Wendy, I really want you to meet my friend, Dr. Jeremy. Dr. Jeremy, this is my friend, Wendy. Um, she's really excited about fat loss component of PTKs. Do you mind giving her some information? Because she's actually heard that drinking ketones stops fat loss, dot, dot, dot. That was just on top of my mind, Dr. J. So 
like that's how you introduce the conversation so dr jeremy's like okay has she seen the campfire video like i don't really know where she's at in the prover journey so like set it up for success so that like us as the connectors can like go hop right into the conversation and be really excited to get them the information that they need but it is not me or dr jeremy's responsibility to follow up with that person if the chat dies it's your responsibility to pop back in and be like hey guys, can we circle back to this conversation or whatever? But again, it, there's not a right or wrong way to do it. Like, and sometimes I'll be like, LOL guys, sorry, I died for three days. Hope you guys are doing good. Do we get the information that we needed? Like just to pop back in the chat and have it back to the top. Because like, remember, you're not their number one priority. Like, and things get busy and don't be embarrassed. That was a big takeaway, right? from keto academy or more was like sometimes we get like embarrassed of following up or we take it personally that people like don't really respond to you but it really has nothing to do with you it's just that like oh i read a text and then i forgot oh this person's trying to tell me something but i i always answer in my head but never like actually respond um so just make sure that like you are again, continuing the conversations because that's super, super, super important um, because that connect part is going to probably have to happen a few times. Um, and then enrolling them. So like enrolling them in our community, enrolling them into a, I love when I respond and then forget to, yes, I always do that or delete and I think that I do. And yeah, so it's nothing against you. It just is what it is. And like, it's our responsibility to keep our lists and make sure we're writing people down and like changing our chat colors to color coded and like seeing where these people are at. So making sure all that stuff's done and then, um, enrolling them in our community. I personally think an enrollment means like how Susie said, she enrolled a whole bunch of people into our Facebook group. So whether or not, well, she can't, they can't buy the reboot. Now they have a whole bunch of information, but maybe they'll buy a five or 10 day or like that's part of our community. Um, enroll doesn't necessarily mean, enroll in a five and 10 day right away. Cause you might have to connect, but like enroll them in our experience of being a prover. Um, whether it's a Facebook group or a five or a 10 day or a full box or a playbook event or a keto Academy or whatever it is. Or like if you're doing a keto life party, all of that stuff to have them experience our community is super important because we're not just about drinking ketones. We're about having our amazing community. So um, I think that's it for ACE. If anybody wants to ask a question quickly and then we'll shift gears over to like some takeaways from the weekend. Um, so everyone understands ACE. Everyone understands the importance of not being a weirdo with the attract. Everyone understands the importance of connecting, but connecting probably several times before they actually then experience and enroll. Word. All right, cool. Done and done. So um, I asked Nixa to share. Nixa, would you mind sharing your takeaways from the event and then especially like what happened to you during the action um, power hour um, on Friday? Hello, everyone. Um, I'm, I'm super pumped. Like after this weekend, I feel like I'm so fired up. <laughs> I text Mandy today. Did you saw my video in the, in my story? And it, I have four people with experiences already and three new customers and I'm so fired up. Um, but yeah, definitely for me, uh, the part when we went out, we made the breakthrough and we went and start working on, um, connecting. It was a lot of connect. You already have uh the conversation you start the conversation and now it's the connecting part um and we were on this table and there were like 11 12 people on that room and they were all doing the same thing and for me that was very very impressive because everyone was on their zone and then they start talking to you they start asking questions and they go back to their zone and they were not scrolling on the phone they were generating conversations they were um having different conversations they were enrolling um every time they have a sale they just celebrated um and then there were ideas in the middle of nowhere like we were with uh uh lee jesse lee, lee. Jessie lee. 
and in the middle of nowhere she was like oh my god everybody on the balcony i want everybody on the back and we're gonna put peaches on their butts and we're gonna post that with the song and everybody started doing it at the same time it was super amazing um we were there for one hour and I think I have generated more conversations in that hour than I have generated since I started um, and joined it as a promoter. It was like on fire. Everybody was asking questions and coming back and, okay, so tell me a little bit more about that. And it was super amazing. I, I think it was the best uh, conversation in Roman starting ever. Um, and I've been putting it on practice every day. Like I take one hour. Um, cause I, I, I know most of us work full time and I do work, work full time too, but I take one hour to only, um, attract and connect. Like I plan my post. I'm going to show you. So I have this calendar on my fridge and on Sunday I write exactly what I'm going to post on Facebook every day. También puedes dejarle los magnetos, papi. Déjale los magnetos, tráemelo sí mismo. I'm speaking. <laughs> so, I have this calendar, and I just write exactly what I'm going to post, and then in the morning when I wake up, I look into the internet, and I find what I want to post about that that I already planned for my week. And it has been working great the whole week. I have been having a lot of, a lot of people calling me back or sending me messages. Um, and when they enroll, I just send them a happy face and I just send them a message about something. And that's the only way, that's that's all I'm doing. And this week has been amazing. Like, future promoted. I will connect it with you later today. <laughs> Sounds good, hi! <laughs> and awesome. I just called her today um, and she told me she was gonna bring the baby and we start talking and she asked me about ketones. And I asked her, do you want to join the team? Do you want to be a promoter? Um, I'm going to have a, a call later with Mandy today so you can see the call and you can see how it works. And here she is, very excited. Yay! Yay! Well, yeah. You already know Ace. Perfect. Good. Yes, <laughs> definitely. definitely. It, it definitely works. And it doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be a science. I don't spend three hours on the internet doing research. I just talk what I learned on the conference, or I'm very excited when I talk to people outside at work and everywhere. Um, and it, it's been working. So yeah, that, that's super powerful. That hour has to be very, um, was the, with a purpose. You have to have a purpose. It's not only about getting into the, the phone and start scrolling down in Facebook. It has to be a purpose and it have, you have to look for what you want to achieve. So. For me, that's, that was the biggest takeaway on, on that power hour. You're amazing. Thank yeah. you. Um, who else wants to share like their experience at Keto Academy more and takeaways from a business or personal development? Either one. Joan, everybody, talk at once, guys. Dr. J, go ahead. Hey, hey. <clears throat> so, yeah, so much stuff. I was just flipping through notes uh, earlier, just trying to reconnect with, with some of the, you know, the content and everything that we, we discussed and learned. Uh, it's kind of overwhelming. I, usually it's a, it takes a couple of days to just kind of decompress after an event like that and try to, you know, get it all back together and get back in mode. And, and so, you know, I think that, Really, the consistency message is one thing that um, I needed, and I think that we all need, because that's what uh, that's what the ten percent that really make this business work. That's what they do is they make new conversations and they meet new people constantly, and they find you know ways to do that on a daily basis. And it's so easy to get caught up in the little things that don't propel your business forward, that waste a lot of time. Um, and I'm guilty of that uh, uh, as well. And so, you know, having, having specific time focused on income generating activities like reaching out uh, to people on the post, like going into stories and commenting and generating new, you know, new uh, conversations, like, um, you know, sending your birthday people a birthday message every day. It's those little things 
that are uh, so easy to do, but also so easy not to do. So um, that was that was something that spoke to me big time with consistency. Um, I love seeing people have breakthroughs. Um, I saw some amazing breakthroughs, and, and people just have some some incredible moments. Um, I just get pumped up after events. You know, uh, it's just you just resonate at a higher level. Things come easier after an event, even if you don't realize that you're incorporating you know, different techniques. It's just like everything just moves, moves faster. Connections are easier. Conversations are easier. And I think a lot of it is because just being around people like this um, for several days and uh, absorbing all that positive energy. And then you go home and you can give all that energy back out again. So it was amazing. Do you feel like though, that since you and I've been to so many events, like I feel like this one's was different and I actually am gonna like do what I set out to do because I know I get fired up all the time I'm like okay yeah but like I think that the fact that the thread of the event was consistency and I've had consistency written on my board I think I was doing it but not doing it now this time I really like want to do it and like actually implement I just feel like something definitely shifted for me like I broke the arrow but and like I physically felt like different oh sorry for whoever not been on the event before um I mean I fed the wolf um <laughs> uh no but like I just feel different like I feel like I'm doing it and like even though I've been sick I've been really intentional about when I was awake, like I'm actually gonna do, like I did Facebook Live, like Hot Mess Express, like to set an example, not only for like the team, but like for myself that like I can actually be consistent on something. Um, and I think it was because of the power hours we did and the end of month and the close. And like, I actually saw, you know, like we actually like took everything took that energy from keto academy and then turned it into like a business like my belief was so built from keto academy and it was different like i was dead set on being like i'm using this keto academy as a rest time like i'm going to just like only do half the day cuz these events really kill me and like i was like halfway falling asleep like for 5 minutes during dr andy's beginning like full transparency i was like how the hell am i going to make this like no way and then i slammed a keto up and like something she said like i don't know i just like took a bunch of notes like let me see like i know the exact moment cuz i was sitting with jesse lee too and i was like oh god i have to like be here um no 75% of genetic expression is due to our choices and that like just like slammed me like a ton of bricks and I was like okay I'm awake now drank my keto up and like it was like they, something after some like just bam 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 all, and I stayed in the, my seat the entire time and I felt great afterwards because I think the keto ups just do me something good and then probably because I had 17 of them per day and then it just really like then the whole next day was actually surprising in the beginning because of the whole AQ exercise that we had to do. But then we broke out in the session. So it broke up the emotional stuff. And it was actually like a work. Um, it was like a work, just work mode. Um, and then yeah, like just sitting in the room, like we were sitting by ourselves and like Jesse Lee invited us up to work with her and her team. And it was cool just like breaking that pattern of not working with them. And then we worked with you guys, which was super cool. So it was like, just like an awesome breakup of like everything. And then the emotional stuff, like all day Saturday was just like insane. I think we were up to like four, three or four in the morning. And then the, like the seal on it was just like Sunday was just like implement, implement, implement. And we got to hear from like the train, the trainers and everything. And it was just like, consistency was the word of the day. And it just like, I think I finally got it. And Brian, what he says all the time is like, just cause you're not processing something consciously, it doesn't mean your subconscious isn't processing it. And I think it finally, it like all aligns that I'm like, oh, okay, like, okay, Mandy, you'd have to be consistent. Ha ha ha, that's the key to success. But I think it just like now my subconscious and my conscious mind finally got it to like, now I'm just like, I don't care if I look like a snot nose, like, disgusting mess i said i was doing facebook lives every day for 30 days when i got home i'm freaking home like i'm doing it and i don't like 
I don't know, like, that doesn't mean that anything's going to come of it. Like, the outcome doesn't matter to me. It's the fact that, like, I'm showing up every day for 30 days to get that, build that momentum and, like, break the, like, algorithm and really just, like, start creating these conversations. Like, I'm having more conversations in my inbox now than I have ever had in a couple months, and it's just really important. <clears throat> So, does anyone else have any takeaways? Wendy, Kat? Who else was there? Cheryl was there. I will. Yeah. I'm not going to go into a long thing. I do want to point out about the Keto Academy. I was figuring that was I was going to take and break out on that too. I had to go down for an hour because the leg, the chairs made my legs go really numb and I ended up falling. But Aww. I only ended up having to go down for an hour. But that keto academy, that keto academy taught me so much and i pushed through that and i was really really glad i did because i learned a lot from that uh, more than what i thought i was going to i learned a lot more from it than i did in dallas um but you guys know i had a lot of breakthroughs but i'm not going to even get into all that one that i really didn't even realize until i got home was and i went through the whole airport thing and all that and came back was that I have got to start showing my whole story and that means I've got to stop cropping my pictures of just my face that means I've got to start showing my whole body and I've got to start showing me walking with my limp and walking with my when my hands curl up from you know in the nervous system and all that and I feel like you know when prove it posted my pictures of my full body and everything at first i started crying and i was embarrassed because i wasn't didn't think i was ready to show that yet but it was just put out there in front of everybody and uh, but then i realized when i was putting together the last about month i started putting together my year-long pictures and all i had was pictures of my face because that's all I've wanted to show everybody because I've been protecting my heart from showing the rest of my body because I'm embarrassed and I'm ashamed of how big I am. And um, I just realized after all that happened and, you know, everybody else that's on here didn't witness it, but you guys did. And uh, I know that it's time now that I stop hiding my body and I stop hiding the rest of my disabilities and my struggles because there's somebody out there that needs to see what I'm really pushing through and what I'm fighting through and, and surviving through. And I'm going to change that now. And I kind of did the same thing you did. I had posted yesterday that I was going to go live tonight at seven o'clock. <sighs> that was the last freaking thing that I wanted to do tonight. But I kind of did the same thing. And of course I, I'm a ball bag. I ended up balling on it, but, I kept it short and I showed up and I went live and I told them that, you know, I didn't go live what I was planning on going live about, but that I showed up and that I was going to be on this zoom tonight. I've got to get up at five o'clock in the morning and take my father-in-law for a skin cancer thing. We're going to be there all day, probably most of the evening. I need to be in bed right now, but I'm showing up. I'm here. I did my live and I showed up to this zoom and, uh, so that's my biggest takeaway is I'm going to continue to play full out and I'm going to show everything in my story and my truth is my proof. And uh, Ooh, that's my biggest takeaway. My truth is my proof. That was my biggest takeaway from right now. Thank you for that. I love that. And I love you. Anyone else want to share? Go ahead, whoever, unmute. I don't, I don't. Uh, um, so what, I kind of got, um, before this last more event, KK more, I had just kind of, I've had such anxiety in my throat and I had, the last time I had really wanted to be um, able to be authentic and vulnerable and real. And, and then I just got this horrible anxiety and that I've been struggling with. 
And so, you know, I came to more this time to like be an observation to, to try to understand what is it that I miss. And, um, and when Joseph told the story about, you know, people out on that, in the desert, that 30 to 40 mile stretch of a uh, road in the desert and, and people will have accidents out there because they focus on the telephone pole and run into the telephone pole. And he talked about focusing on the space in between. And um, so that's, I, that's where I think that's what landed on me really big was that to focus and let the telephone poles be my friend. So like when that anxiety comes up, it's about me being able to look at what is my goal in that moment. And, um, you know, and to have my daily rituals of, of getting up to uh, spend time to focus and frame up my day and, um, and to, and to do those, those, um, you know, shaking that ass and, and patting yourself on the back and really getting into a good uh, mindset for the day. And um, so with just, you know, practice and accountability, I feel more confident that I can break through. But, you know, every time I go to message people, I have that crap in my throat. And so it's still just going to be like knowing that on the other side of these messages is my freedom and is it's my freedom, freedom on the inside. It's not even about them. It's about me, me. So anyway, no, we love that's you. what I got. That's amazing. You're amazing. Thank you for sharing. Um, anyone else? Come on, don't be shy. I know y'all had great good times because we all emotionally ate after Joseph McClendon. We had carbs. We did. And it was awesome. I know I wasn't there for the whole thing, but I um, was uh, sitting at home or all the places that we were at watching you guys in the chat. And I had a lot of FOMO going on, but I could tell that you guys were really having genuine breakthroughs and I'm so proud of every one of you guys for just really like pulling out all the stops and just taking all of that information and absorbing it and using it to help each other not only yourselves but you guys were supporting each other and I think that's one of the amazing parts of our community is that we are all always our biggest cheerleaders for each other and um, we're not all just in it for me, 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 me. So I thought that was awesome. Yeah, I love that. I mean, we're on the same team with you guys, but like we're still cross line, down line, whatever. That's why I was like, everyone can come on this Zoom. It's technically my my team, but it's our community. And like if I'm teaching ACE and people need to learn it, like, of course, like you guys can come on. And it was the same thing. Like Jesse Lee doesn't have to mentor me and like give me tips and tricks and like she gets zero dollars from me um but she takes the time out to do it because we're both off there the same mission and like there's so many people that we can help like we both can't help the entire world ourselves I mean she probably is but like um you know but she, like I literally got the text and I was just like wow like she doesn't have to invite me to her suite and like have me work with her team and like she did. And then, I, and then, um, Lindy was like, you, you could have just went up by yourself, but you invited us. I was like, no, it was either she invites me and the rest of us or like, it's not just me. Like we're all, all in this to help as many people as we can. And that's, you know, like super important that we work together to do it. And there's no scarcity mindset. Like everybody can eat at the same table. And I think that that's just what I love about our community. Like we're just all in the same mission and vision and all the things. So, all right. Anybody else have anything they got? Any shares, any cool, whatever distinctions? Oh, Wendy, go ahead. Hey, so um, I think this event was totally um, different for me just because we all got to spend 
so much quality time together. Um, whether that was team um, dinners or we did um, like that breakout hour. Um, it just reminded me of how things were in the beginning, how we were, how when you build relationships with all of us, you realize that you're not in it alone. It's so easy every day to get caught up and just like, doo -doo 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 -doo, you know, every day and you feel like you're, the walls are closing in on you and you don't realize that there's like a whole group of us that are doing the exact same thing. So it's like when you come together, it's like, oh my gosh, here's like this whole group of people that I forgot exist that are doing the same thing I'm doing. And just the power at that table that day um, when we were all working, you know, just listening to how people were saying things differently or the verbiage that was going on or how people, you know, people that were celebrating each other. It was, it was powerful. And to me, that was just huge. And just, um, I think building relationships within our team is huge too, because you realize you're not alone. Heck yeah, we're definitely not alone at all. And I definitely want, if you guys are open to that, um, just give me a thumbs up. Um, I just didn't follow through on that this week. I'm sorry about that. I just couldn't physically like pop on a Zoom. I just couldn't. I needed to follow through with just one thing. Um, but if you guys are open and you guys want to do power hours, um, the power hour doesn't necessarily need to be like structured, okay, five minutes here, five minutes here. Um, but if we all just jump on a Zoom, like, hey, I'm about to work for my intentional hour. Does anyone want to jump on? Um, we can just, you know, be on the Zoom and be quiet and everyone can work on what they feel is necessary for their business. And then like, if you get a win or something like that, just like, unmute and like celebrate and it doesn't have to be oh my god this person it doesn't have to be like oh I sell it a 10 day or whatever it could just be like oh my god somebody just responded like it I loved when I was showing you guys how to do stories and I messaged that girl and I was like no way she's gonna respond and it was like perfect tee up too because she took a picture of rice and beans like that was her story like, and she was a customer of mine and I hadn't followed up with her for a while. And I knew that there was a 15% off. She was eating rice and beans. And she took a picture of it in the story and I sent her a message and I was like, LOL girl, thank God for PTKs dot, dot, dot. And then I sent it to her. And then I was like, she's not going to respond. And then like within five minutes, she responded. I, we all were just like, Woo! and then I go, I go, Hey, did you know that it was 15% off right now? And she goes, no, I had no idea. And then I was like, perfect. And then I sent her like the cloud link and it like, it was just, and then she bought. So it was cool just to like be around everyone to celebrate. Like, well, I just got a response, but like, it was cool to just see the progression of that. And like, I think that it just raises the vibration and the energy of like our entire team. If we do it together, not only will it help you like in your own business, but it helps everyone collectively. Cause we're all focused on, again, we're all focused on, our own people but we're all doing the same things so it just wait raises like the law of attraction of like the energy and the excitement to like do the darn thing right so if you guys are open to that we'll just keep the chat you know i don't like ever it seems like at nighttime is the best time so um yeah and then that makes a great point like people freeze up but this is just like okay you're at your attentional hour like what are you doing um, so you know that you're going to be super intentional while you're in that focus hour and not really like screw around, you know, it's cool. All right, guys. Well, this was an awesome call. I'm really excited that we got to get this done. Um, does anyone need anything else before? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Guys. And if you ever need like training zooms or whatever, like, and I don't know everything, like <laughs> if y'all feel like you want to teach something or do something or whatever, it's fine. Um, but I think, you know, just working together and collaborating is super, super, super important. Um, but yeah, if there's nothing else, I love y'all. And this call is a wrap. Bye everybody. Bye. Oh, I don't want to hang up. You're so cute. Bye Gabe. <laughs> okay. We can hang up now.